bracelets now. That's rad. <laughs> All right, just let's keep it to rubber, though. <laughs> uh, Thank you. This is very nice. Yeah, very cool. Um, I'm not going to take offense that you threw them to Tegan. Oh, that was for me. They're half yours. They're half mine. There's only three, but you can have one if you want. Oh, there we go. Oh, Ted, there's one for you too. Oh, uh, when, when we uh, when we put our record out this summer, we, we came over uh, to Europe to tour, and we were really excited, even though everyone told us that no one knew who we were, and we came here, and then there's lots of you, and we were very excited about that. And um, mainly, we get excited because uh, we've been touring forever. We're actually 45, and we had facelifts before this record came out, but. We've been touring forever and it's very exciting to, to go all over the world and, and, uh, and see little funny, cute little faces like yours. And, uh, and, uh, not like I bad, this, not, what? Bad, not bad cute faces. <laughs> not cute, funny little faces. I mean funny as in like cute and friendly looking. Um, not funny like you're all funny looking. I mean some of you are. <laughs> but we're funny looking too. Um, but this, uh, we, we're, we've been touring supporting our new record and I remember this next song when Sarah wrote it, uh, I was saying uh, Sarah lives in Montreal, in Canada, and I was there visiting, and she wrote this song and was recording it, and it sounded like gibberish to me. I couldn't understand what she was singing, and uh, she was recording in her closet, and it was all muffled, and when I read the, the, the lyrics later, it, the first thing that popped into my mind, because it's a song about Sarah being a teenager, was that we had this house uh, that we lived in when we were 14 and 15, and it, Sarah had a, her own walk-in closet. And when we moved out and we were cleaning out the closet, there was all this beer in there, like like half empty beer and like all these beer cans and all this other shit. And I remember when I heard this song, I was like, what in the hell was my mom thinking? Like, Sarah should have been sent to a dormitory for bad girls, which she probably would have really liked. And everyone knows that that girls that go to dormitory or like, you know, private schools or whatever, that they just, that just, they just start having sex and they get drunk sooner. Like, but I suppose, I suppose then, at least you, at least you wouldn't have gone up the duff. Did you say up the duff here? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is a duff anyway? What happened to like a J J or like the badge? Or... Anyway, this song is is not about any of those things. I might rather not talk about the duff up here. But um, anyway, that's what I thought about. I thought about all the beer that was in your closet. Sarah was so bad. That was, was that was very good. I remember that your in your room actually you had a you had like a I had my own book club and we would sit around and talk no. about all the story and all this. No, but you had this is funny because you had like a, a seat under your window where you had storage. That's right. And we used to I use it. I would I would I opened up my storage room for um, kids who ran away from home. No. <laughs> no. What we used to use Tegan's window seat storage for was we had like a flyer route. I don't know. Bibles. Bibles. No, Bibles. No. <laughs> It was full of beer. It was full of beer. No, it was not. It was. We had a flyer route where we would basically take like shit ads and coupons, and you have to like go door to door and put them in people's mailboxes, and you get. We had to work young in our family. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. But we would get about only eleven dollars a month, and so we decided to fuck. We were like, fuck this shit. So we pretended that we were doing our flyer route, but we would put all the flyers in Deegan's uh, window seat, and we we had like. We, you would get samples sometimes that you had to also put in people's mailboxes, like sponges or like soaps. And so Tegan's, like her window seat storage was full of like flyers for like two for one food coupons and like soap bars and stuff like that. And my mom totally never found out that we were we were actually doing our flyer route, and she'll know now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mom. But it was eleven dollars a month, and I felt like we were sparing people the that annoying, like when you walk up to your mailbox and you're like, I got mail, and you're like, no, I didn't. I got a fucking soap and fucking coupon shit. <laughs> so there you go. Still, still, we did something wrong, both of us, and we have been paying that back karmically for the last ten years. So. Okay, so this is the this is the song that um, is going to tell that story. These stories is now are now going to be told musically through this next song. So here you go. <laughs> 